Hi, friends, and welcome to the final episode in my fall series. Because I have so many new subscribers, this video will showcase your favorite $10 tree fall DIYs from last year. This will be a quick explanation of each project, but they will be time stamped, and a link to the video containing the full tutorial will be in the description box. I hope you enjoy. Using a wire clothes hanger, form it to the shape of a circle and add on some natural wood beads to fill up about half. Make sure to glue the two end beads to the wire so that they don't move around. Twist your ends together, take some of your favorite greenery, use floral tape to add that to the section that doesn't have the beads, add in a few fall florals, attach those with floral tape, make a cute burlap bow to attach right in the center where all of your florals meet. Make sure to dovetail your ends and fluff out your bow. Now you have a gorgeous fall wreath. For this project, you will need a Dollar Tree sign, some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. Attach the scrapbook paper to the front of the sign using some Mod Podge. We're also using a Dollar Tree palette, some tumbling tower pieces, and some craft sticks. Hot glue the tumbling tower pieces to the back of the palette, on the bottom and each one of the sides. Then take the craft sticks as well as that palette and give them a coat of antique wax. Allow that to dry, then we'll take our craft sticks and we're going to attach those to the back of our sign to create slats for a fence. That way they'll peek through each one of the signs. Then we can hot glue the palette to the front bottom portion of the sign. Cut a few styrofoam pumpkins in half and glue these down right above the palette. Add in a few of your favorite fall florals here I'm using some of the bittersweets from Dollar Tree, as well as a couple of the berries with leaves, and then add in a few pudka pods and some mini pine cones. Then we'll take one of Dollar Tree's chalkboard signs and write out pumpkin patch. We can glue this directly to the front of the palette, add a simple twine bow to the top of your chalkboard sign, and your project is finished. I would love to know what you guys think of this cute pumpkin patch sign. To get a high-end look for a lot less, take one of Dollar Tree's 8x10 frames as well as one of their calendar pictures. Here I'm using the 2022 calendar. Pick out your favorite design, cut it down to size to match the back of the frame, Tape that in place because they are pretty thin and you can see through them. Then you can put this right back into your frame and you have a gorgeous high-end piece for just a few dollars. Take two Dollar Tree wood crates and glue them end to end. Then take some white chalk paint and give the entire piece one coat. Once that's dry, take some gray paint to go in between each of the slats and then distress the piece with a dry brush. Using one of Dollar Tree's square signs, peel the paper from the top and we're gonna use this piece from a 2022 Dollar Tree calendar to attach to the front of our sign with some Mod Podge. Using a wood word cutout from Hobby Lobby, we're gonna give that a coat of brown paint and then attach that right to the front of our crates. Using some small paint sticks, we're gonna glue these to the back of the crate so that we'll be able to attach our sign directly to the front and it will rest on the top of the two crates. We're gonna hot glue that down, fill in the crates with some Spanish moss and then some styrofoam pumpkins, some cute mini acorns and pine cones. We'll create a messy bow with some ribbon and add a twine bow right to the top of that. We're going to glue that down to the top portion of our sign and this is absolutely beautiful. But I would love to know what you guys think. For this project, you'll need two signs from Dollar Tree as well as some wooden dowels from Walmart. 
We're going to put the dowels in each corner using E6000 and hot glue, and then we'll attach our sign on the opposite end. We're going to use some E6000 and add a book ring to the top. Take this outside and give it two coats of black spray paint. Then you can take some of your favorite artificial florals. I'm going to glue some greenery as well as some berries inside of our lantern as well as at the top and add a few orange flowers. I recommend using an LED candle and you can add an optional bow at the top. You guys let me know if you like it with the bow or without the bow. If you are enjoying today's video and you haven't done so already, I would love for you to click that subscribe button right below this video and become a part of our Country Lily DIY decor community. To all my current subscribers, thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, guys, we're going to get started on project number six. You're going to need some paint sticks from Lowe's. These are the five gallon stir sticks, two of Dollar Tree's chalkboard signs. Cut these down to size so that you can glue the paint sticks to the outside portion of the chalkboard sign. So we're going to create a frame by adding the two sides and then a longer piece at the top and the bottom. We'll add one in the center and then we're going to take some antique wax to go over all of our wood pieces. To give it more stability on the back, I took some of those cutoff pieces for the paint sticks and glued those to the back. Added a couple of sawtooth hangers. We're going to use two of Dollar Tree's wire organizing baskets and we're going to attach these to the sign using Using some zip ties. I'm going to add one basket at the bottom and one at the top and then I'm going to use some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby to just cut out a design to place on one side. I don't want it to be permanent so I'm using some scotch tape so that I'll be able to change that out later. Then make sure to season your chalkboard sign before you write anything on there. And then you can fill in your baskets with any of your favorite fall decor items. I love that I can use this piece all year long just by removing the scrapbook paper. For our next project, we're going to use some of the same paint stir sticks from Lowe's, except this is the 10 pack, so they're smaller. We're going to cut those down to about four and a quarter inches. We're going to use two signs from Dollar Tree and remove the succulents in the middle. We're going to give each one of these a coat of truffle chalk paint. Take the signs so that they are facing each other where the succulents were. We're going to add our paint sticks to the outside corners using E6000 and hot glue. I started off by doing all of the corners and then you can go in and add your middle piece so that you'll be able to space them evenly. You'll do this on all four sides. Heavily distress some orange paint around the entire piece. We'll hot glue a wood stem to the center. I'm using some raffia to tie around the wood stem. We're going to use some Dollar Tree copper wire LED lights to feed in between the slats and now you have a gorgeous rustic pumpkin and of course I love anything that has lights in it but you guys I'd love to know what you think. Grab two of Dollar Tree's square signs. We're going to cut a portion of one of those signs off. I'm going to use a utility knife to score that a few times and then you can pop it and it'll break right off. I have measured out in three sections and created lines. Then I'm going to go over each of these lines with a Sharpie so that they will have a faux shiplap look. Using some khaki or warm buff acrylic paint, just a very light tan, we're only going to put one coat of paint on this. Once that dries, you're going to take that same colored paint and then draw in lines to create a faux wood look. I'm just creating sporadic lines and I'm going to use my hair dryer to help speed up the drying process. So as that dries, it's going to blend in nicely and give you a variation of color and depth. Then go back over your lines with your Sharpie. Then I'm going to take a pencil and draw out the scarecrow's face. If you're not very handy at drawing, you can print out some really beautiful images online or you could also use window decals. Now this is a very quick process here, but if you want to see a more slowed down, detailed version of drawing this out, make sure to check out the full 
tutorial and that link is in my description box below. So you can give him whatever cute face you like, whatever color eyes. I'm just filling everything in with a Sharpie and some paint and then we're going to set that to the side and let it dry. I'm going to give the top of the hat a coat of brown paint as well as the paint stick for the brim of the hat. Make sure to paint the back side ends of the paint stick because those will stick out. Now we can add our two pieces together. We're going to hot glue the paint stick directly to the front between the two pieces and to reinforce it we'll add some craft sticks to the back to make sure everything's nice and sturdy. I took some hula skirt to create a decorative piece to add to the top. We'll add a few sunflowers from Dollar Tree and isn't he absolutely adorable? This is another one of your favorites, using two different size styrofoam pumpkins and a bottle brush from Dollar Tree. We're going to cut the end of that off and then take that in and twist it around. Then I'm going to spray paint each of the pumpkins as well as that bottle brush with some gray spray paint. Once that dries, I'm going to spray some stripes onto the bottle brush. So you're just basically going to spray each of those ends and a little bit in the middle so you can have that variation of color. Using a pencil, I'm going to draw the outline of the raccoon's face. Now you don't have to be too meticulous with this. You just want to get the outline on there. And I'm also going to do the same for the body. So we're using that larger pumpkin for the body and the smaller for the head. Then I'm going to go around the outline with some white chalk paint on both the head and the body. This is just going to kind of give it the definition of his face. We're going to add a little bit to the eyes. We're going to let that dry and we're going to take some gray paint and kind of make a lighter color gray than the body itself. Then we're going to go around the outside of the portion that we just painted white to fill that in with the lighter color gray. We'll do the same on the body. Once that has dried, I'm going to take a Sharpie and go around each of the painted portions to kind of define those as well as the eyes. And it always amazes me as you start filling in the eyes how realistic it really starts looking. As I'm going around the outlines, I am making just tiny little specks to create faux fur. So I'm not drawing straight lines. It's just a bunch of tiny little lines. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on his body to go in between each of those different colored paints between the white and the gray. I'm going to take the stem that I pulled off of one of those styrofoam pumpkins and paint it in a beige color and go in between those grooves with a brown color. Use a barbecue skewer to poke a hole in the bottom of the head and the top of the body. And then once I know everything's going to fit together, I can then take that apart and use some hot glue to secure everything in place. That barbecue skewer is just going to make it more sturdy than if you just hot glued the smaller pumpkin directly to the larger pumpkin. Then we can add our stem right to the top and we're going to bend that bottle brush so that it will curl around. I'm going to go ahead and make the hole for that and then we can hot glue the bottle brush right to the back. And I just love this raccoon pumpkin. Isn't he precious? For our final project, you're going to need some different colored ribbon. Now Walmart has some gorgeous ribbon out right now. You'll need some Chanel stems. We're going to cut those in half. We're going to cut our ribbon down to about six inches and dovetail each one of the ends. Then we're going to pinch the middle of each one of them and we're going to overlap them to create a cute bow. Then we'll attach them together using our Chanel stem and leave the excess of the Chanel stem on the back. 
Using one of Dollar Tree's wired wreath forms, we're going to attach this bow to the second from the outside wire using that Chanel stem. Now you're going to create a lot of these little mini bows and your second one you're going to attach from the second on the inside and push it very snug to your first one. You're going to continue to do that through each of the sections until your wreath is nice and full. Then take all of your excess Chanel stems and make sure you push those down in the back. Make sure to fluff out all of your ribbon. This is my absolute favorite fall wreath that I have ever made. It is gorgeous. You guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you have a favorite, let me know in the comment section down below. I always love to know which one is your favorite. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me, and I can't wait to see you guys next week when I start my Christmas series. Please take care, and I'll see you next time.